Hey, thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44. Today is the day after Mother's Day. Hopefully you all had a wonderful Mother's Day. You called your mothers or sent them something or wrote them something. I had a fantastic day. I mean, truly delightful. It, I, I love being a mother. And uh, to everyone out there, I hope you had a good Mother's Day. Um, if you didn't get a chance to call your mom, call her today. You know, there, it's never too late. That's one thing I learned. It's never too late to um, let someone know that you love them. I, my father passed away when I was, hmm, let's see, I think I was 22. And I had just gotten into Scientology and I'd written him a letter telling him I was sorry for all the creepy things that I had done, which were a lot of things. I mean, I was a teenage wildcat and uh, I told him how much I loved him. And, you know, it was just like really from my heart to his. And shortly after that, he died. He had a heart attack, and he died at, I think, 52. And nobody planned it. So I was, like, literally the only person that had said to him, you know, everyone was like, oh, I wish I could have told him this, and I wish I could have told him that. But, you know, you don't plan on someone's going to die. Nobody does. And, uh, you know, luckily, thank God for me, I got to tell him everything I, I felt about him. But I always tell people, Tell the people around you you love them because you never know how long we're all going to be here. And I believe in celebrating someone's life. If they do pass on, make sure to celebrate their life. Because uh, luckily for most of us, we have really good memories about people we love. Even if they've passed on, you've got the memories in your heart and they're there forever. All right, so now for the new people that have left Scientology, um, there's all kinds of stuff going on. And someone asked me to make a video about this. Because when you leave, I mean, there's people that are for the tech, but they're not for the church. That's why they're leaving. There's people that are in the free zone, which is still, you know, kind of like for the tech. And they're using the tech in the field. And then there's people who aren't. There's people that aren't for any of the tech, but they respect that people believe it. There's people that are completely against all of the Church of Scientology, L. Ron Hubbard, anything to do with it at all. So my message to all of you is, you know, first of all, welcome. Good idea that you came up. It is very good. People often are worried when they leave, but, you know, you don't have to be worried. There's tons of us out here, way more than there are in, actually, and, uh, we welcome you. You know, we're happy that people are coming out. It's, it's a, we're having a good time. So that's number one. Number two is there's tons of information that you don't know because when you're inside, they shelter that from all of us. We all are the same. I'm still learning all kinds of stuff. So there's some great books that you can read. Um, everything from Messiah or Madman, which has, is by Ben Corden to, um, a Piece of Blue Sky, which is another Scientology one, to, um, um, let's see, Fire Madman, A Piece of Blue Sky. <laughs> anyway, there's another one about Hubbard. Um, and then there's all the websites. There's some great books on, you know, like 1984, which is kind of how everything is now. It's very weird. Bob Minton gave me that when I first left. Really good book. Um, if you want to know about um, Captive Hearts, Captive Minds is a really good book. Just on what happened, how did you get into that group, you know, what what's it kind of like for many, many groups similar to that. Uh, another one that's really good is You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay, which just has some little daily things that you can do. If you use it, it definitely helps you. But the main thing is to understand that you don't have to be one or another of these different groups of people. You know, it's like just, you know, get on with your life, enjoy your life. If you have a story to tell, first of all, everyone, I believe, has a story to tell. So even if you're, you know, you may think, well, I didn't escape out. I just left. You know, that's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you did. Come tell us your story. You know, everybody's story is important. And they're all fascinating and they're all interesting. I mean, you heard Kevin the other night do his interview and anybody else in this local area that would like to do an interview, give me a call. I would be very happy to interview you. And I think it's really important that people hear all kinds of different stories. I do. Um, 
But most of all, let's all work together because the main key thing OSA tries to do is divide and conquer. That's their thing. You know, cut them off, divide them and conquer, get everybody fighting against each other. That's always a product for them. So try to, you know, there are three main goals on the internet that they told me when I was working with them at the end. This was way at the end when I finally figured out what they were doing, which is basically stopping free speech on the internet. But their main three goals are A, distract anything and everything off of Scientology, L. Ron Hubbard, David Miscavige, any top secrets they don't want known. Get it off of that. And they will post anything to drive the topics down and onto the second page, right? So nobody reads it. The second thing is degrade any of the major critics that they don't like. And they'll get come in on private messages, different things, you know, just kind of tr trying to slime the person. Right. And the third thing is they, they just try to slime an area so that people literally don't want to put their name on it. And I remember asking Bill Yachty, I mean, isn't that going to be so obvious? It's the Church of Scientology. Once I actually went and looked on the Internet and saw what they were doing, which at the, the day I looked, they were posting baking recipes, trying to drive the topics down. Right. OK, no, Yachty said no. They won't know because we're sliming all kinds of other areas too. So they'll never know it's the Church of Scientology. Well, I'm here to tell you that is what they do. And so stay away from it. Don't get caught up in it. You know, the best thing to do is just keep posting, learning facts, posting facts, letting other people know what's actually going on. And uh, move on with your life. Have a great life and have fun. You know, that's, you know, that's what all of us are doing in various different ways. And I love it. There's a lot of different creativity. Anonymous is also a whole nother group that maybe the new people don't know about. But there's all kinds of information on that. You can go to Why We Protest. And that's uh, mostly all the anonymous people over there. But they're sprinkled around, too, on the Internet. And uh, generally, they have pickets every month, once a month. And uh, exposing the abuses of the Church of Scientology. So come on out and uh, have some good times. And if you're worried about family or friends inside, you can always use a, an anonymous nickname. And don't give out much private information to anybody. Okay, until you, until you, you know, just your core personal friends. All right, so there you go. I hope that helps. And I hope you all have a great beginning of the week. And I hope you like my new, my new microphone. I finally went out and bought one. You guys have all been saying, get a new microphone. I thought you meant I had to get a whole new webcam, and I didn't have the money for it. But I finally got my new computer, and now I got a new microphone, and I hope it's going to sound better. So there you go. Peace out. I love you guys, and have a great week. Bye.